So we understand that President Trump will travel to the Carolinas tomorrow. He'll get a firsthand look at this disaster. Florence is now to blame for at least 33 deaths across three states. Water still rising in some of these areas. Leland Vittert, live in one of those places, Elizabethtown, North Carolina, tonight, about 80 miles inland from Wilmington. Hi, Leland. Hi, Martha. The water continues to rise by the hour. We've had to keep moving to higher ground here. Not only is it obviously overwhelmed so many houses, it's overwhelming rescuers. And therefore, there are teams from New Jersey to California that have converged here with their boats to head out into the deepest of waters where there are many houses that are now islands, and they are delivering a grim message. Today's mission is we're going out uh, checking to make sure that the Residents who have decided to stay understand that these rivers are going to crest tonight, tomorrow morning, uh, and we're going to have to let them know that this is your last shot out. This pile of logs mixed with trash, mixed with debris from the flood, has lodged itself against one of the main bridges in North Carolina over the Cape Fear River. So bad they've had to close the lanes of the bridge now so they can begin to try and break this up before the waters rise so high it begins throwing logs into the town. Already, that debris in the rivers is incredibly dangerous for rescuers as they continue to work with the rising water. The water moves even faster. That's the bad news. Now for the good news. Last night, we introduced you to two dogs that we rescued while we were out with some volunteer firefighters. They had been left for dead. They swam to a porch, and here they are today. Florence is the mom, and her puppy we have named Chinkapa. They're at a vet now just north of here. And pretty soon, they are headed all the way up to Washington, D.C., thanks to Lucky Dog Animal Rescue. Martha, get this. So far, $9,700 raised, and we can keep going on that one to try and help the pets of Florence, including Florence and Chinkapa. They're so cute, and we hope they're going to find some nice forever homes uh, up in the D.C. area. Leland, well done. Thank you very much.